Hello everyone! Today's victim is the overweight bartender known as Gus. Gus is also the one that feeds the terrible addiction of social outcasts like Pam and Shane. Hello Gus, hey you look like you could use a beverage. See what I mean? But he's not wrong, I could use a beverage. And it turns out he really likes oranges for some reason, which is weird because oranges don't make you fat and he's pretty fat. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Yet he didn't say he was going to eat it, maybe he just likes to admire them. That's the first gift out of the way, let's keep moving along. Good morning pork chop. nice of you to start work on time. Business has been really good tonight, I'm pleased, you're not even at work yet. You haven't even made it to your register yet, how do you know that? Gus is already up to two hearts so that means I can go in his room and look through his stuff. Good morning Gus, hi there mums, I'm glad to see you, you're always welcome here. Like, in your bedroom? Gus may be a little easier than I thought. So far it's looking like he might not have very interesting dialogue at all. I need to get up to 8 hearts and then hopefully the mod takes over and gives him some new stuff to say. Today Pork Shop is finally up to 4 hearts, that means we get a heart event, provided Pam is at 2 hearts. Now Pam isn't the biggest fan of me lately, but luckily she was so drunk in the last video that she actually forgot she ever married me, so she's up to 2 hearts again. So here we go, the 4 heart event with Gus. I assume Pam will be involved at some point? Oh hello there buddy. I'm just looking over last month's earnings and it's not looking very good mumps. The worst thing, and I hate to say this because she's my friend, is Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks. I doubt she's ever paid, she's kind of a dick. But she doesn't really have a lot of money, she lives in a trailer. But I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Yeah don't hurt Pam's feelings. Pam smash when that happens. Mumps, you gotta help me. I, I don't want to get involved. Oh speaking of which, hiya. Gus, I'm awful thirsty if you catch my drift. Shut up Pam, go home. Er, well, okay Pam. Oh, what a pushover. Pam, you need to pay for stuff, you can't just take it. Mumps, what's going on here? You need to pay your tab right now. Hey, watch your mouth, no one tells me what to do. Uh oh, she's turning green. She's angry, well, I guess I better pay off that tab then. Not a bad idea, normally when you buy things you pay for them. You do drive a bus every day, you're actually the hardest working person in town. Thanks Pam. And thank you Mumps. You're welcome. Now let's get you that drink Pam. Just hook it up right to her bloodstream, that'll do the trick. And after that cute little heart scene, is there anything new? Hi there Mumps, I'm glad to see you, you're always welcome here. Nope, his dialogue is very generic. Well let's see if he says anything new at six hearts. Probably not. It might be because I'm simply talking to him in his room. Yep, nothing new. I might have to actually wait for him to come out and sit by the bar, but I'm not going to wait that long because it takes till 12 p.m. every day to do that. We can just go ahead and move on to his 8 heart event, the mod 8 heart event. Alright, Gussie is up to 8 hearts, just gotta wait for 12 p.m. for him to open, then we can go take a look. Also gonna see if there's any new dialogue. If not, we'll give him all the uh, gifts, the bouquets of flowers, bump him up to 10 hearts and then move along with this. Okay, time for the 8 heart event. We find Gus in the back, playing with his kegs. Also, there's a lockbox in there that does strange things, I wonder if he knows about that. Oh mum, sorry, you've caught me at a bad time. I was just watering down my beer. He has a really big nose. Kinda looks like Mario. Gus's right hand is covered in blood. Oh, did he kill someone? He must have killed Pam, he was sick of her not paying the tab. Oh this? I'm fine. I was grabbing some glassware out of storage and some of it fell and broke. I must have cut myself on accident. Oh, but that's too bad. The cut appears to be very deep. Well there's a doctor here in town. Uh, it's deep. Let me take it to Dr. Harvey. He's a big fan of me. I guess it couldn't hurt to have him look at it. No, it probably wouldn't. Unless I'm involved, then it would be a bad thing. Are you sure you have the time to take me yourself? I sure do. I'm pretty much dedicating this whole year just to you, buddy. Well Gus, I'm sure this isn't how you wanted to spend your afternoon, eh? Thankfully, four stitches were all you needed. Make sure to keep the area clean and dry and come back in two weeks so I can take the stitches out. He's very professional despite our relationship. Thank you for bringing him here, Mumps. The cut was worse than it looked. Please try to be more careful with broken glass. It could be a serious hazard. Just like Pam. A lot of danger in this town. That's it, Harvey just walks away and leaves us in the back around all his medical supplies. Well, while we're here, let's take some industrial strength tranquilizers. Mumps, thanks for bringing me here. It's nice to know I have somebody looking out for me. You're welcome. Don't worry, I'll be more careful next time, I promise. I actually really don't care. 
As long as it gets me some friendship points, I'm all for it. Now, how about let's head back to the saloon and you can help me finish cleaning up that mess. Uh, yeah, I'm busy now. You can clean up your own mess. Okay, apparently as I enter the saloon, there's another heart event. Which is weird. I did not expect this. Nothing's happening. Is it broken? I think the game broke. We have Harvey up here for some reason, and Gus over here. That's not a good sign. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and skip this. And everything's back to normal. Okay, not sure what that was. A little bit of a glitch. Good morning, pork chop. Please relax and enjoy yourself. You never have anything fun to say. Let's get serious. I accept. Thank you. After a whole bunch of pretty flowers, Gus is up to 10 hearts. So I'm wondering if we can turn around and see his 10 heart event right away. We'll give it a try. We might have to wait another day. Nope, here we go. 10 heart event. The final one for Gus. Hopefully he doesn't injure himself this time or do anything stupid. Oh, Mumps, I was just thinking about you. Because I just saved your life five minutes ago? That's very thoughtful of you. I wanted to ask you a question. What do you like better, strawberries or cherries? Uh, strawberries because they're worth more. Strawberries. Strawberries, eh? They are a delicious treat. Uh, sure. I'll keep that in mind. That somehow sounds really creepy. Gus is kind of a creepy guy. I'm planning something special. You'll find out what it is soon. Creepier and creepier. In the meantime, how about some lunch on the house to thank you for coming to see me? That sounds great. I should get a free lunch every day. Okay, I think that's the first half of the 10 heart event. I think there's more on my farm. I'm not sure if it can happen in winter. We'll find out. So the second part of the 10 heart event is supposed to happen on my farm on a sunny day after 6 p.m. So in the evening. Yes, here he is. It can happen in winter. Hello, Gus. I bet you're very cold out here. Oh, you're home. Wonderful. I have all this food packed up and I don't suppose you'd want to join me for a picnic at night in the snow where it's cold? Sounds great. I'm in. Could have picked a better time. Great, let's go. It's just a short walk from here. My favorite spot in the valley. Oh, hopefully it's somewhere I've never seen before. It's probably not though. It's probably just the forest. Oh, it is a new spot. This is romantic. This sure is a beautiful spot, eh? I don't think many know about it. No, no one at all. Here, have some more pepper poppers. Oh, would you like some more wine? I'd love some more. I ended up going with blackberry wine after all that trouble with cherries and strawberries. Cool. I said strawberries, but whatever. Ah, I'm getting full already. That's a surprise. You didn't even eat your whole fish. Or the big plate of spaghetti. Mumps, thanks for coming with me tonight. It really means a lot that you're here. I never say no to free food. And probably neither do you. And that you like the food, of course. Yeah, it's just great. I wanted to bring you here because you really mean the world to me. Aw, so romantic. You've been a great friend to me, Mumps, but... 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 He's so much taller than me. Oh, did he kiss me? He at least gestured for a kiss. I don't know if I moved or not. Mumps, my feelings for you have gotten more than friendly. Apparently. I feel the same way. I had a feeling, but I had to be sure. You've made me a very happy man, Mumps. I don't hear that very often. Well, this should be a fun three to four weeks, I think. That should about do it. I think four weeks. Well, I gotta get married in spring, so that's gonna be a little while because it's still winter. Speaking of which, where did all the snow go? It was a snowy evening and that was a nice clear day. Okay, let's go see if we can find him at the saloon and propose to him. I think we have to wait all the way till spring to get married anyway, but whatever, we'll get this part out of the way. Good evening. Anything new? Nope. Okay. Let's get married then. Do you have any new dialogue there? I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have this ceremony in three days. Okay, maybe you can get married in winter. I thought you couldn't for some reason. We're well, going to find out. Three days away. Oh, you can get married in winter. I don't know why I thought you couldn't. Nice suit, Gus. It's an XL. It is my great honor on this day 6 of winter to unite Mumps and Saloon 186 in the bonds of marriage. Well, let's get right to it. Let's. I'm a busy person. I've got to get a divorce soon. Mumps, Saloon 186 as the mayor of Pelican Town, blah blah blah, husband and husband. Let's do it. And of course, we have his clone in the crowd right there beside Pierre. And I think that's Elliot on his other side. Now watch him have the same dialogue. Hi, I'm glad you came. I'm off to the saloon tonight, honey. Uh, okay, don't miss me too much. I won't. Uh, what do you want for a gift? I'm gonna give him bouquets because I can give him lots of those and get him right up to 12 hearts. Okay, just like that, he's at maximum love, 12 hearts. Now I'm gonna talk to him for a few days to see what he says. Hopefully there's a breakfast involved. 
I'll be rooting for you during tomorrow's fishing competition. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna go. Morning. I'm off to the saloon tonight, honey. Ooh, that's not very original at all. Come on, something good. You look a bit tired still, honey. Here, I made some coffee. Well, that's a good start. I do like coffee. This morning, he's already on the move. He's standing by the table. Rise and shine. Here's some breakfast before your busy day. A whole big breakfast before I go back to bed. That's so thoughtful. Today, he's in the blank room. Hello, Gus. How's your blank room? Should I sort them by title or author? Title. Always title. I think it's official. Gus is the most boring marriage candidate so far. I'm off to the saloon tonight, honey. Case in point, he only says like three different things for his entire life. I was going to play him a little bit further, but he's so boring that he's got to go. 50,000 gold, well spent. My life gets that much more exciting because he's not in it. Not even going to see if he has any last words because he'll probably say, I'm going to the saloon. You're always welcome. Okay, but now that we're here, let's go see how he's handling divorce. Maybe he'll get really interesting at this point. Normally bartenders are supposed to be like outgoing and entertaining type people. Hi there, mums. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Even in divorce, you can't have anything different. That's so boring. Well, stay tuned for more videos. More videos up all the time. Hope you like this one. Thanks for watching.